And then market update stuff. So, I, I, uh, you know, someone already asked in the comments, you know, is $15 milk justified? Well, if you look at cash today, we're back in the low 140s on cheese, which is like low $14 class three. So the answer is, given where cash is, yes, it, it is justified. I mean, typically the market on those front months is going to hang out pretty close to where cash is. So unfortunately, you know, the spot market has kind of nosedived again. Um, you know, it's it's hard to say. Obviously, you know, this time of year, there's some discount milk kind of floating around and and. I think we'll see that until the end of the year. I still think there's some sort of response higher in January at some point, just given where world prices are. It's hard for me to see U.S. prices trading 50 cents discount in January. I don't think that'll happen. I think we do see some response, but I don't know, you know, when that exactly takes place. Whoever's selling these barrels on the exchange, likely, you know, you would think they would flip away from that you know, in January, but I, I can't, you know, guarantee that. I don't know that for a fact. Um, but so one other thing too, is we got some comments about, you know, what's basis doing all milk basis relative to class three. And so if you look at the five-year average, it's 193 over the all, all milk price is typically about two bucks over, but you can see now, you know, we're forecasting all milk basis, you know, almost you know 450 over almost on average from class three in our in our dmc forecast because we have rising components um and just you know because in general you know the rising components that that's probably the biggest factor you know driving some of that and obviously the class four market class three class four spread um and when you equate this back to the DMC margin, you can see here, if we were using old basis numbers, we'd be project or projecting payouts, you know, for the next three months on DMC. But with the new higher basis that we're, you know, factoring in relative to class three, you know, we're not really projecting much in the way of uh, DMC payments, maybe a little bit at the top tier level. Um, but I think it is interesting to see how the basis has improved over time just because of, you know, rising components and, um, you know, the class four being a little stronger. Um, one other thing too, I, we normally never talk about fluid milk sales. I thought I'd bring it up because it was one of the few months where we actually had positive year over year growth. Um, it was up about 2%, not really much to, you know, write home about, but, you know, we, we did have a, a positive month for once year over year. So that's, that's quite rare. Um, like I mentioned earlier on the, on the spot market stuff, we've kind of, you know, we're back down near the, near the lows here around a buck 40. Um, you know, like I said, I, I'm not sure. I, I do have a feeling that January will see some slight improvement because typically when these barrel plant, when these barrels show up to the exchange, you know, when a plant starts up those barrel lines, they run them for a while. It's not like they flip them off overnight. Um, but I do think heading into January, I would be surprised to not see a little bit of a, you know, easing of some of that supply pressure um, because they should be getting some export business, um, you know, given where world, you know, prices are at.